Hello. Right, sorry, one sec. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my camel. Sorry for eating. I'm hungry. What are you going to do? Mm -mm -mm. I realise this might actually sound very annoying because my mic's like just here. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, that's probably disgusting. Good morning. Welcome to my channel. I'm Luke. Thanks for watching. Hope you, hopefully, sorry, you're having a good day today. It's a really nice day out, like sunny wise. But um, it is very cold out. Very cold. Although it's warming up now. This morning, I um, I woke up outside Sydenham's in Winchester because I parked there overnight. If you follow me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Luke Scene HCV, you would have already known that because I posted on there where I was. Um, yeah, so I woke up this morning about six o'clock. Come half past six, I got out of the cab and um, started hand cleaning the truck using Chrome. By the way, if you <laughs> nice little plug here. If you use my um, name, Luke C, on Chrome's website, you get 10% off. I'm pointing them behind me because I've got some Chrome products behind me. don't know if you can see them. But, um, yeah, so I hand washed it using uh, uh, soapy water and like a cloth. And then I, I love embellish from Chrome now. It's really good. So, um, and it just makes it everything so shiny. And I've got a white truck, which I don't think shines very well compared to other colors. But the embellish makes the white shine and you can see reflection so it's really good so yeah i woke up about half past six hand washed the truck um and the sydenham's where i was they didn't open up till seven o'clock or at least that's when staff started turning up anyway seven o'clock time i got in it was like half past seven and um yeah so i was hand washing the truck like i am now and just a t-shirt and um it was fine like weather wise temperature wise it was fine but once I got in and I was unloading in Sydney, it was around about sort of eight, hour past eight, it was freezing. Like you could see your own breath. And I, I had to put a coat on, I had to put gloves on because my hands were freezing and everything. But um, yeah, apparently there's some sort of chill coming. I'm not sure, some sort of chill. But yeah, that's, um, that's my morning so far. So I've already done one load. Next load is going to Parkgate, Key Line. And then, um, we got a home run because today's Wednesday, so we'll be going home today. And I got a home run to Older Mason where we're going to Mirko. So Sydenham's, Keyline and Mirko, they're the three companies we're delivering to today. And I deliver to other companies like, hang on, I'm looking at the bags, Build Base, Juicens. Uh, we also deliver to uh, Wival Garden Centres and Selco. We definitely do well, we do deliver to someone else, but I'm not mentioning them, so. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my Pringles. I've got a whole tub here to go through. Mm -mm -mm. And I'll see you when we're on our way to Parkgate. Right, so we're on our way to Parkgate. Just went past some really nice yachts and boats. I would love to have a boat. My, um. Oh. There's a police siren there. Is he chasing that car? Uh, is that is that a police car chasing that car? I would ah uh, I would have blocked the road if I thought he was, but you never know. He might have been in a marked car. Never mind. That's bugging me now, because if he was catching him, I wish I'd blocked the road. Never mind. Yeah, my, my uncle had a canal boat when he was alive, and um, I wish I was a bit 
older before he died because I would have appreciated it a bit more. I think like now in my old age, I'd appreciate having a bit more of a boat ride. But yeah, I wouldn't mind living on a boat. Live in a cab, then I so what's the difference? What is the difference? It's still a small tin at the end of the day. <coughs> right, so we're not far away now from Parkgate. We're like less than five minutes away pretty much. And um, as I was leaving, they were telling another driver that I'm going there as well, which means there's another driver behind me. So it was a good job that I got back and loaded when I did. There was, I would have been the second driver, which means I would have had to wait. And I don't really want to be waiting or hanging around today because it's Wednesday and obviously, as I said earlier, I go home today. So I'm hoping I can get in and get out ASAP. But this place is hit and miss. But sometimes you've got to wait to get in and then when you do get in, sometimes they're not the fastest to offload you. Whereas sometimes you get in and you're, you're in and out in less than an hour. So I'm hoping for in and out in less than an hour, to be honest with you, but we'll have to wait and see. Depends who's unloading you. The new yard manager is proper fast, so I'm, I, I hope it's him, but we'll have to wait and see. We will have to wait and see. Now, the sat-nav is telling me to take a left up here, but it looks like it goes down a um, housing estate, so I go on a little bit further and turn left at a roundabout, just more suitable. I want to thank everybody for, uh, for your comments on my Ask Me Anything video. Um, at last count, I had like over 200 questions. So I'm not sure how I'm going to answer every single one. Obviously, it's quite a lot of questions. And the more questions I do answer, the longer it's going to take to edit. So it, it, just just bear with me. It's a video which may not be released now for like another month. Do you know what I mean? It might take me a few hours to edit over the course of a couple of weeks or so. So that video will be coming out soon. And I've, I've had a look at comments. And if, if I've got... If it says that I love the comment, it's getting answered. So keep an eye out for them, for the love hearts. And also the most liked comments are gonna get answered as well because obviously people wanna know the answer. Right, let's go down here. Looks like I can get out of here actually. Ideally, I wanted to go straight on at that roundabout and not turn left, but oh well, it's done now. I need to turn right here and then left at the next one. Turning right. And then we are turning left where he is. This will be a on the other side of the road jobby. Excellente! Is it is excellente French? I'm starting to learn French. What, what is he looking at? He's staring at me. Yeah, I've started to learn French. I mentioned it briefly in the Ask Me Anything video. Bonjour, monsieur. Comment allez-vous? Est-ce que vous comprenez anglais? I just asked you, how are you? Do you speak English? Right, those blue gates are where we're going, so I need to put the old hazard lights on here. Park up, because you can never just go in at any place and they do look quite busy inside, but we'll have to go and have a look, let them know I'm here, and I will see you in a few ticks. Bonjour, uh, je suis Luke. I think that means I am Luke. Um, I'm a little bit annoyed because my dash cam has been on the whole time since I started vlogging earlier, and all the while I was at uh, Park Gate getting tipped normally wouldn't be an issue but I've uh, recently found out that when my um, dash cam is off of loop mode in other words it's continually continuing con can't get the words out continuously records it records it still records it in loops of 17 minutes for some reason and then when I go and put it onto the laptop 
my my uh, MacBook, it freezes. It just it doesn't read it well. It, it puts the file onto the computer, but it doesn't actually transfer it over into um, what what do I use? Um, Adobe Elements, Premiere, Premiere Elements. That's the one. Um, yeah. So a bit of an issue. Basically, long story short, I may not have any footage of the police chase that I saw this morning, but I do have the main dash cam which is on all the time so I might be able to nick the footage off of that in a lower resolution maybe we'll have to wait and see a bit annoying that is I forgot to turn the dash cam off and um, yeah as long as I don't record more than 17 minutes it's fine and what I normally do is I just unplug it from the mains and it voila it turns off I haven't got a reach these beautiful boats look some of them are beautiful anyway not all of them I'd love to have a yacht. That'd be amazing. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? So anyway, we're heading back now towards Southampton, or technically we are in Southampton, so more specifically, we're heading back to Warston. Uh, we're gonna go get loaded for our final run of the day, which is going to Aldermaston, Mirko, as I previously mentioned. And then we are going home from there, so it's going to be good. It's going to be all gravy, baby. Looking forward to going home, seeing the kids, seeing the girlfriend, having some proper food. Loads of people have been asking. Yeah, there's spat everywhere. Yeah, loads of people have been asking recently, like, what do I have for food in the cab? Because like CJC, he um, he uh, he always cooks. He doesn't. He always does his live stream. Chris does, and he he cooks like beef, beef burgers. He had uh, the other night. And um, I mean, I have done that in the past, but more often than not, I don't, I don't cook myself. I either go to the shop and get some food, be it hot or cold, or I'll order something off I just eat. <laughs> and obviously, as you can tell, this is why I look like I do. But yeah, I should probably try and um, cook more in the future. I, I, I think I will in the summer. It's just, I don't like the idea of cooking in my cab. I don't like the idea of smelling it out. Those onions that Chris had, he only used half an onion, so his cab probably stinks of onion. <laughs> and if he's watching this, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start calling you onion cab. Right, I can't overtake this cyclist yet. There's just not enough room to do so. I might be able to overtake him once we go past the van if I go on the white lines. Three, two, one. He's, he's got about three metres worth of space between me and him. Loads of room, plus there's a cycle lane as well. Right, so let's go back and get loaded for the last run of the day and um, enjoy the rest of the journey there. Okay, we are on our way to Aldermaston. This is the last run of the day. We are fully loaded with 34 bags. What's this problem? That guy just called me the W sign. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're on our way to Aldermaston and uh, we've got 34 bags on. So let's make our way there. We're going to learn some French on the way there as well. So uh, bear in mind, you may, may hear some French in a sec. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, see you in a bit. So I have been asked in the past, like, what do I do while I'm driving? Like, I'm driving now to Aldermaston. It's going to take an hour or so to get there. What do I do in that hour while I'm driving there? Now, sometimes I just sit still in silence. Sometimes I phone my mate. Stop All right, penis breath. Well, yeah, good. Sometimes I speak to my girlfriend. Hello. Hello, you okay? Mm -hmm. Can I not call you and tell you I love you? Sometimes I learn French. Tell me the name of the French language in French. La Franche. Le Français. La Franche. Le Français. La Franche. La Franche. Say, I understand. Je compare. Je comprends. Je, je compare. Je compare. Say, I understand French. Je compare la Francais. 
Je comprends le français. Je comprends le français. Sometimes I even sing. And the world, I turn it inside out, yeah. And sometimes I just listen to an audio book. I mean, job. To call John's job a career would be an overstatement. Either way, it doesn't really matter what I do, I, as long as I'm driving safely and I'm concentrating on the road. There's, there's many things you can do. Lots of people pretty much do all that while they're driving on a daily basis. And uh, if all that fails, I do what I'm doing now, I vlog. Right, well, I just turned up now on site uh, at Aldermaston. I didn't film on the way here because I got too engrossed into my audiobook and by the time I realised I hadn't filmed, it was too late, I was around the corner, so never mind. But we're here now, so hopefully we get these bags taken off and um, hopefully we get a, a pallet of new bags put on, which I'll take home tonight and then take back down to Southampton tomorrow morning. But um, yeah, so let's go and get tipped and then we can make our way back home. Uh, yeah. Right, we are now tipped. Didn't take long at all. Uh, 27 minutes to be precise, that's how long we've been sat still for. Drive to work, just gonna send a quick text. Uh, gotta send a text to uh, where I get loaded from because they asked this place if they got any bags and they haven't got any left. So Mirko got no bags. Getting some tomorrow. Cool. Send. Destination. Let's go. All clear. And we're done. We're getting out of here. It's a relatively tight left hand turn because there's a bollard that the trailer gets very close to. We're clear. Do, do, do. Apparently my trailer is not level. There we go. Take that trailer nice and wide as well, so we can get through these gates with the trailer. Excellent! Hey, we are now heading off. Hang on a minute. I'll just put my hazards on a sec because normally I go left, and my sat nav is saying go right. Do, do, do. I swear I normally go that way. Ah, that's why there's a road closure, so we can't go left. Okay. Like I said, I know how to get back, but I, I always put it in the sat nav anyway, so I know how long I'm going to be. So I knew I had to turn left, but the sat nav was telling me to go right. And uh, the village up there is, is closed, so I can't go left. I have to go right. Which means it's going to take slightly longer to get back, but nothing I can do about it. This is the only way I can go. Only way I can go. There's a fire engine in there with blue lights on. I pressed the button for that wheel to go up, but it's not gone up. I've got a full tank of air. It might go up on the way back. Anywho, let's uh, crack on back to Swindon now. And uh, it's an hour and 20 minute drive ETA there, it's 20 past three. So I'll see you when we get a little bit closer. And I will then say bye to you. Right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now five minutes past three in the afternoon and we are on the A419. We're just about to come off actually and go through Cricklade. Cricklade, of course, 
is known for being the home of Luke's in HGV, although I don't actually live there, it's just where I used to operate out of and go through every single day, unless I'm down in Southampton. <laughs> I let him out. Come on, mate. Uh, there's a YouTuber called Scott Andrews. Go check out his YouTube channel as well. He came through Quick Laid once. And he, uh, <laughs> he said in his video, um, home of Lucy and HGV, so I appreciate that. Yeah, go check out Scott Andrews' page. He's a Welsh boy. Quite funny videos. I believe he, he does class two and class one. Bit of everything. But here we go, coming off the slip road, off of the uh, 419 going on to the B4040 towards Cricklade. Cricklade is a Saxon town according to that sign. And I do believe, a bit of history here, well not necessarily history, but fact, Cricklade is the first town on the Thames. And you may be wondering how I know that. And uh, just know it, don't I? Just know it. Nothing at all tells me. Is it clear? It is clear now. Ugh. So yeah, because it's Wednesday, I, I get to go home and it's three o'clock. By the time I fill up with fuel, um, fill out paperwork, park up and get home, it'd probably be close to four o'clock. My girlfriend's work until half past five, I think, maybe five o'clock. So I'm hoping I can get this video edited in an hour or so. Get it rendered overnight and upload it, hopefully I can upload it overnight rather than rendered overnight. Hopefully it can get rendered before I go to bed and upload it overnight, that's the plan. And uh, yeah, this should be going live tomorrow, which is Thursday. We'll be back down to Southampton again. This is called Calcutt Street. It is the world's most annoying street. I have to go down, especially around about now, three o'clock, there's just loads of traffic. By the way, I was, I was asked um, in the comment section below on one of my videos, do I never say thanks to drivers? I, I do say thanks to drivers, I either flash them. My hand is up in my, on my steering wheel right now. I don't know if you can see it. There's my hand, my hand is now on my steering wheel. And what I normally do is I lift up my four fingers from the steering wheel while I'm still holding on using my thumb. That's what I normally do. If I don't do that, then I flash using my left hand. And again, you can't see that. So don't think, like whoever asked that don't think that i don't say thank you to anyone because i do you just can't see me say thank you that's all now is he gonna stay there no he isn't i can't get around this corner unless i take up the other side of the road mr sainsbury's van has let me out thank you very much of course sometimes i do lift my arm up completely when i'm not being lazy So yeah, this, this is Cricklade. My dad was brought up in Cricklade and I don't live too far away. I live, if you were to count the minutes, how far away I live from right here, two minutes in a car. But it's not actually in Cricklade. Thank you very much, matey boy. Do 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 do. All clear, let's go. Right, so, thank you very much for watching this video. I uh, I don't think it's gonna be a massively long one, this one, and um, it doesn't matter how long it is anyways. It's, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of some joke here. Is how you watch it. Doesn't matter about the length. Anyway, I will see you next time. Drive safe, and see you soon, bye bye.